this candlestick pattern we have right here is a beautiful example of a evening doji star pattern. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what the pattern looks like, what it means and why it is important and useful in trading. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first thing uh, we're gonna do here is that we're gonna zoom in a bit and take a look at the pattern. So the evening doji star, what is it? Well, it is a three candle pattern. So it is a candlestick pattern consisting of three different candles. And the evening doji star is a bearish reversal pattern, meaning that it is an indicator of that the upwards or the bullish momentum is changing to a downwards or bearish momentum. So the evening doji star is basically a warning sign that the bulls are losing control and the bears might be gaining control. A reversal pattern. It's also worth to mention here that the pattern is rare. So it doesn't occur as often as, as common patterns such as, for example, the hammer, the engulfing pattern, the dark cloud and so on and so on. So it is a pretty rare pattern. Now I think we're ready to look at what the pattern actually looks like, the, the appearance of the evening doji star. So as I said, it consists of three candles and we can take a look at all the candles here. Candle one, the first candle, candle one is a strong green candle and it should have a large real body. And by the way, if you are unfamiliar with any terms I'm using in this video, I made a video about the basic candlestick terminology and the basics of how to read the candlesticks. And I will link it up in the corner in the eye. So make sure to watch that one before continuing this one if you are unfamiliar with any terms. But the first candle is a strong green candle that comes after a upwards trend. So prior to the pattern, we might have had a trend Imagine that this is a trend and then we have a strong candlestick that looks something like this. All right. Candle two of the evening doji star is a doji. It is a doji with a real body that doesn't touch the green one. So it might look something like this. It actually pretty much looks like a plus sign, but the real body of the doji is this horizontal line right there and that real body cannot touch the real body of the prior green one and that it doesn't do candle three of the evening doji star is a strong red real body a strong red real body that goes deep into the green one so it might look something like this and it might have some shadows. Perhaps it looks something like this. And by, by going deep into the green one, we preferably want it to end below the 15% mark of the green one. So the 50% mark of the green real body is here. We want the red one to close below this mark. So what I mean by going deep into is basically that the red one penetrates the green one all the way down to this level. So as a general mark, we usually want the red one to close below this yellow line right there. We also preferably want a gap between the real body of the doji and the real body of the red one. So we preferably want a gap here in between and in this case, we actually have it. And hopefully if this works out as a reversal pattern, the trend should be downwards after this. Another thing that I think is worth, worth to mention here is that the highest point of the pattern, so, so in this case, the highest point is up here. The highest point, the highest point should act as resistance. So if we draw a line from the highest point here, so this orange dotted line right here should in the future become some sort of resistance. And this resistance can be stronger or weaker depending on many factors. For example, if it has acted as resistance prior to this, uh, to this pattern, 
Another factor is if we saw lots of volume, lots of sellers at this level. And there are other factors that makes a resistance more strong or more weak that I'm not going to go into a lot in this video. But the important thing here is that the highest point should act as resistance in the future, or at least might become resistance. All right, so now I think that was pretty much the basics of the evening doji star. Uh, now we're gonna take a look at a real chart here, but before doing that, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer that everything in this video is for educational purposes only, and nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. All right, so now we are looking at a chart here. The chart is the Walt Disney stock chart, a company I think you are familiar with. And as we saw in the beginning, a doji evening star pattern appeared right here. I'm sorry about that scuffed arrow, but yeah. So what I think we're gonna do now is that we're gonna take a look at why is this a valid evening star pattern? Well, first of all, we said that the pattern is a bearish reversal pattern. So in order for it to be a reversal pattern, we need a prior upwards trend or bullish trend. And before this pattern occurred, we, have a, we had a clear upwards trend, so that is good. The second criteria is that this candle has to be a strong green one. In my opinion, this is a clear strong pattern, candle, I mean. The third one should be a doji that opens and closes above the prior candle and that it does, so that is also in check. And the third candle should be a red strong one that closes below, remember, the 50% mark of the prior green candle. And, and it closes all the way down here, so it closes way below the 50% mark of the green candle. So that is also in check. So in my opinion, this is a valid evening doji star. And after this pattern, we saw a correction, a start of a downtrend appeared all the way to this point. And another thing I think we should point out here is that remember when I said that the highest point of the uh, doji star pattern should act as resistance in the future. And as we can see, if we draw this resistance line here, we actually saw that we had some resistance um, later at this point. So in this case, the resistance from the prior Doji Evening Star pattern acted as resistance later. As you can see, the bulls didn't take control of the price and we actually saw a fall after that. But yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any help or value out of it, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys want to see more, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have a great, great day and I will hopefully catch you in the next video. But for now guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.